I found that the that mists and clouds were really had a lot of interest that in a way the less information there was the more interesting it was because you could put some of yourself into the pictures. I really love the panoramic format. I, I find that this is the way that we see things. As I've been working more and more, I've, my work has gotten larger and larger. The size of a piece really changes the way that you perceive it, that you interact with it. That when it gets to be the size of a person, you move into it as opposed to just looking at it. This picture was from Maine, from Swans Island, just this side of Bar Harbor. I was up visiting friends on Swans Island for a week. And one day I was walking around the island. I was there with a, a bunch of painters. And they would set up their easels and start to paint scenes. And this was a really foggy day. And it was very difficult for them because they'd start to paint a scene of boats in the harbor and the fog would roll in and they'd scrape the paint out and the fog, they'd paint the fog, then the fog would roll out, it would roll in. Whereas I got this beautiful picture of a little island called Ram Island right off Swans. This image was from Bellagio in northern Italy on Lake Como. This is actually one of my very first shots of fogs and mists. We ended up in this lovely seaside, well not seaside resort, lakeside resort. And this image really struck me, the, the, uh, this copper topped building and the lakes that always seem to have mists and waters over them.